Welcome back to our channel. We are Blackhawk Canine, a relationship-based dog training company who shares their training journey and connects with clients through this channel. If you're interested in learning more or following along on the journey, don't forget to hit that follow or subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the video. We are gonna be doing our week two update on board and train habit. She has had a really good week. In a lot of these videos, what you're gonna be looking at is the change in her attention. So you can see here, we're still very stressed. She's still barely taking food from us. And when she is, it's a very slow process. She's still doing a lot of sniffing. This is kind of towards the beginning of the week where we are still really working on trying to build strong engagement with her. And this is pretty typical. She has um, a lot of things going on in her brain. She's busy all the time. So again, without attention, we really don't have much else. You can see there we pay. I'm offering her food, not really that interested, but you can actually see the hesitation coming into the body. Here we have worked a little bit more on the engagement aspect. Uh, excuse my terrible filming job. The, we've worked a lot on our engagement. She's getting paid for her healing. So that's what's happening here is that we're asking, we're setting an expectation for a review. When she doesn't do it, we're going to stop, reset, and come back in. She's closer, she's giving us more attention. And it's okay that it's taking us a couple times to go back. We're not jumping any more notice. We're just staying nice in there. We have nice attention there, so we immediately pay. You can see that she's more comfortable coming into our body. She's a little more comfortable being pet. She's actually excited to interact with us. We like to see that. It, it's really difficult to make ourselves more exciting than the environment a lot of times, especially for a dog who don't have a whole lot to offer. She doesn't really want our kibble. She doesn't really want our petting. So this has been really challenging, like we said in our week one recap. We knew this was gonna be challenging to do, but we're really excited with the engagement that she's chosen to offer us because it has been so challenging. It's made it incredibly rewarding for both her and for us. So this week she has become verbal on all of her obedience commands. We have significantly increased the amount of engagement we're receiving and we're getting ready to prepare her for e-collar pressure. You can see we're using the leash pressure to kind of bring her back in a lot of times. That is our preparation for e-collar pressure. We use leash pressure to communicate, to get that engagement, to get that um, reinforcement so that when we get into the e-collar, everyone is very aware my camera skills are awful, I'm so sorry. But that's kind of what the plan is moving forward is we've gotten her on verbal commands, we've gotten her on her leash commands, and now we're getting ready to start our e-collar in this next coming week. All right, guys, that is all that we have today for our weekly board and train update. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to find out how we can help you reach your training goals with your dog, please reach out to us and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.